I never thought he, I'd get goosebumps before talking about code, but I just did. <laughs> if you want your agent to work on your code base, you don't want it to run up something and have to click through five different things to get to the thing that it's working on. You want the ability for the agent to get feedback about what it's working. Wow. And that's, that's, that's cool. not just good for the agent. It's good for the human. That's too. so cool. So, so. What the, I think the step change there is we're not talking about an MCP. We're not talking about a script that, that the agent yeah. calls. We're talking about, think about your code base actually having a feedback loop that the agent can call probably in the command line or some other way. That's, yeah. oh my God, I just kind of, yeah, yeah. I never thought he, I'd get goosebumps before talking about code, but I just did. <laughs> you want to decompose your application into single inspectable things that yeah. don't require you to build the whole thing and click through it and have like a lot of human interaction. Yes, right. And back in the day, we called it test-driven development. Yep. And now it's like agent-driven development, yes. which means can the agent by using shell commands or whatever else or screenshots or text output or log files, can it inspect how the application is doing. So I'll, I feel like, I hope you just invented agent-driven development. Come on. I, 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 guess, who, guess who has the trademark? <laughs> guess who's, guess who's, who's getting rich from this? You, know? <laughs> you. you. 